This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. These are examples of guys that did stuff because they thought the girl was going to be different from other girls they dated. All right. So this first guy, he says, I met a girl on Hinge. We went out for a long drive at night. She wanted uh, nuggets. I got her that. I got her ice cream. We were vibing and singing the songs. I am very shy around women. So I maintained a distance with her so that she doesn't feel uncomfortable and feel safe. Well, that's already his first mistake because women want to see a guy that is bold and confident. And that means going after what you want. Even if she rejects it in the moment, she, women will be rejected, would still be like, but I like the feeling of him coming towards me and showing a desire. It just may be too early for me, but I'm glad that that desire is there. So you always want to show that. But anyway, he says, we were singing songs and vibing. I dropped her and hugged her goodbye. Then I, this is this important part. Then, uh, then texted her that I had a great time we should do it again tomorrow because I knew she was free. She said yes. And then the next day when I text her, she said no. What am I doing wrong here? So what did he do wrong here aside from not showing some levels of want to do some physical stuff? Um, he texted her the next day. What have I told you guys? Women across the board don't like dudes that are texting him nonstop and that if you if you're texting women immediately after a date, it can actually cause her to lose interest. Then what does he do next? He sets up a date, which he shouldn't have done, but she says um, yes to that date. But then he hits her up the next day and does what? He tries to reconfirm a date. And what I'll tell you guys, that when you reconfirm dates with women, more often than not, they're going to start to lose interest. So this guy, for all he knows, he's thinking, oh, this girl's going to be different. I can text her the next day. I can ask her on a date the next day. I can reconfirm the next day. And the responses he got back are now, this woman is now starting to lose interest. Why? Because she is no different than the majority of women out there that don't want the things I just talked about. So let's go to the next guy. This guy says, I've been seeing someone regularly, having great hookups, going out for the past month, talking every day, and just enjoying our time together. Then suddenly, over the course of three days, she noticeably changes her attitude towards me and suddenly seems distant. Hmm. What could have possibly happened? He says, after talking a bit, she told me that she, quote, never thought she would like me this much and that we can't continue to see each other as anything other than friends because she has too much stuff, other stuff going on in her life that she needs to figure out and she just can't date me right now. Which you talked about before, we agreed we wouldn't date officially and we would just enjoy seeing, uh, each other's company. So I'm really confused and also confused by my own thoughts because we weren't, we weren't in a relationship. We are friends, but I also know that I have feelings for her and it hurts that I can't kiss her, et cetera. So what did this guy do wrong? So let's go back to talking every day. What I tell you guys, women, if you talk to them every single day, even if they say they like it, even if they say they're not playing games, even if they say they're different from all the other women out there, the reality is when you first start dating a woman and you're talking to her nonstop, it puts off that part of her. It's like one, it feels like I'm now forced to talk to him every day, which is now not my choice. And also, he seems really needy because why doesn't he have other people to talk to besides me? This feels weird. So they were talking every day, and then all of a sudden, her attitude changed and she's distant. But he thought he had somebody that was the exception to the rule. Sure, the other girls out there don't want me to text them every single day and talk to them all the time, but this girl's different. I can do that. We have a great, we're hooking up all the time. So clearly, if we're hooking up all the time, then that must mean that she's totally different. She is not different. I don't care if you guys hook up on date one. It does not take away from you follow the systematic uh, pathway that's going to get you the most uh, the most uh, probability of success in the dating room. I talk all about this extensively in my, my uh, Introvert Dating Success Program. I have a whole blueprint from A to Z of what to do during those 90 days to ensure that you get into a relationship. And it works for the majority of women except for the non-sane ones, but you don't want to date anyway. But for sane women that have a good head on their shoulders, Following a simplistic process with most of these women are going to result in the same thing, you getting a relationship. Why? Because these women, as I said time and time again, they are not the exception to the rule. Most of them are going to go for the same stuff, which I'll get into a little bit later. So in this last one here, this guy says, so I've been talking to a girl for about a month. And after going on a date with her yesterday, she told me that she's talking to one more guy and wants me to understand because she doesn't want to make a mistake and she wants to choose the right one. He says, I'm new to dating and I want to know if what she's doing is a red flag or is acceptable and normal. Uh, a couple of friends told me to block her. So this is an example of a guy that is very new to dating. 
So he's thinking this is now weird behavior. Why does he think that? Honestly, media, media teaches us like the, you know, movies and shows like, oh my God, like once you meet the one from the, from the moment I first saw you, I've liked you and only you and I'm only going after you and all this other stuff. And so he's thinking, I gotta be like that. And so now he's hearing, wait, this other girl's coming to me and saying she's possibly seeing another guy. Like, is this a bad thing? Again, if we, if we go to the rule of she is not the exception to the rule, the reality is most women, when they first start dating, I'm talking date one, date two, they're probably going to be seeing other guys. They, especially at 18, 19, uh, they get a lot of attention. Uh, and a lot of guys are, are coming up to them and saying, hey, let's go out on a date. And so it is perfectly normal for a woman to be dating multiple guys, not necessarily sleeping with all those guys, mind you, but like going on dates, it's totally acceptable. So most women aren't this honest because to be honest with you, <laughs> She's 17 thinking she can be honest with guys to the point where they'll be totally okay with them, with her saying to them, with her saying to them, Hey, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm dating you and some other guys right now, but I, I just want to be open about that. So you know what's going on because she's going to learn that guys are going to get butt hurt by that, not be able to handle it, call her a slore. And then she's going to have hurt feelings. So she's going to start eventually hiding this, which is again, is the thing that most women are going to do. But this is, this is an example of, this is a totally normal thing that women will do across the board. And unfortunately, this guy has friends that are giving him bad advice and saying, oh, block her. She's doing other guys. Oh, my God. Because they're probably inexperienced also. I can tell you again, as an older guy, I have experienced going like dating apps. You go on a first date. I just automatically assume any woman that I'm going out with on a first date probably has other offers. And you know what? We're not together yet. She needs to take them because I... I'm also going to be taking other offers as well until I come to my consensus. So I take it in the realm of like, I'm going to still control this thing because it's like, I'm not going to have get butt hurt if I find out, oh, she went on a date with somebody else because I'm leaving myself open to that until such a time as she comes to me and says, hey, I've gotten rid of all these other guys and I only want to date you. But the, the point is that this is not a uh, normal behavior. Most women are going to have other people that they're dating in this process. But again, Guys want to think that they're the these women are the exception to the rule. Now, I will be fair and say this, is that women themselves will also try to convince you that they are the exception. And you'll hear women say things like, oh, my God, I'm so much different from these other girls out here. Oh, my God, I'm so different and so different. Why are they telling you this, even though it doesn't work in their favor? They have to tell you that because you got to look at this not from like a, um, a logical perspective, but from a biological perspective, Right. In order for a woman to have the maximum amount of security she can possibly have, she needs to be able to get with a guy that's going to protect her and provide for her. And in order for that to happen, she knows that a guy has to choose her. But how's the guy going to choose her out of a pack of other women if they're all viewed as the same? So what they're going to do is try to convince you that they're different. Oh, I'm not like other girls because I cook. I've been with plenty of girls to cook. Oh my God, I'm different because I like comic books. I've been playing women like comic book movies. Oh my God, I'm so different because I like to uh, go to the racetrack or do it. None of these women are different, but they're going to try to convince you of that and you can't fall for it. You got to know that it's going to be in their nature to try to convince you that they are different and you have to look at them and say, oh, totally, I get that. And then know that they are lying through their teeth because they need to present themselves as that in hopes that you will choose them. But take it as... If they're doing that, it means that they want you to choose them, and that is a very positive thing. <laughs>